made it to Miami Beach. I'm here from Tuesday until Friday, so about three days. Tomorrow's my birthday, I'm turning 26, which is crazy. I'm here with my boyfriend. We've never been to Miami Beach, so this is our first time. I think it's gonna be a pretty chill trip. Just got back from Bermuda just a couple days ago, so if you guys didn't see that vlog, you could check it out. Walking now to get some tacos. 25 minute walk from our Airbnb. We just dropped our bags off and then we have to come back at 3 p.m. to check in. Got some guac, tacos, shrimp tacos, chicken tacos. We just had the tacos from Dolce Vita and they were delicious. I definitely recommend checking out that spot. It's a really good, like, quick lunch spot. They also had burritos and a few other options. It looks like we're on 6th Street and Washington Ave. How do you rate the tacos out of 5? 5 out of 5. Yeah, that's what I would say. tour of our Airbnb. Walking to dinner now at Pane and Vino. It's only about a 10 minute walk from our Airbnb. It looks really good. Handmade pasta, so Italian restaurant. I'm having a great time. I feel like the food scene is really good here in Miami, so I'm excited to keep eating all the food here. It's the next morning now, Wednesday, May 18th, so I'm officially 26. We're gonna go head out to like a late breakfast brunch. We're going to a French restaurant. About a 15 minute walk and it's near where we had dinner last night. We had dinner at Pane and Vino last night, which is an Italian restaurant. The food was really good. He got lasagna, which we both loved a lot. And then I got cacio pepe and tartufo. The service was a little slow, but they were definitely a little understaffed. But everyone was super nice, so I would recommend that restaurant. If you're looking for some good Italian food or pasta in Miami Beach, we're gonna head to breakfast now and just have ourselves a fun day in Miami.
had breakfast at a la folie not sure if i'm saying that right it was a french cafe and the food was really good we had crepes well i had a crepe with dark chocolate and strawberries and then we also got baked eggs which were delicious definitely recommend going to the spot for breakfast if you guys are looking for something that's also like a cute ambiance but really good food but the prices were pretty reasonable for miami We're walking to the Miami Botanical Garden, which is actually right by Fillmore and the City Hall. We checked out the botanical garden and it was really cute. Free admission and it was worth checking out. We decided to walk over to the one hotel, the iconic one hotel that I feel like I always see people posting pictures of or talking about. And it definitely looks very bougie and very nicely decorated with the neutral scheme. I think it's extremely expensive to stay there, so we're not staying there. It's Thursday, so it's our last full day here, and we're gonna go ahead to the beach. We're having a later start to the morning. I had such a nice birthday yesterday, and I'm just really thankful I was able to come here and make a little trip for it. All the food we had last night was really good. I'll have all of the restaurants and eateries that we're going to in the description box below. We're gonna head to the beach in a little bit and get some breakfast. Well, it's more of like a breakfast late lunch. I think we're gonna get a smoothie bowl. We were looking into a place called Under the Mango Tree, 30-ish minute walk from where we are. It's more south. I think today's gonna be a more casual, chill day more relaxing but we will also you know go out to dinner later and make the most of it